In a previous video, we said that acceleration was how fast the velocity of an object changes. In this video, we're going to talk about gravitational acceleration, which is how fast the force of gravity changes the velocity of an object that is falling. And in physics, it doesn't matter if an object is moving in the up or down direction. As long as an object is moving under the influence of gravity, it is still considered to be falling. Now on Earth, experiments show that the acceleration due to the force of gravity equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared, or negative 9.8 meters per second per second. And this value varies depending on where you are on Earth, or how high above the Earth's surface you are. But another way to think about this is that the force of gravity causes all objects on Earth to accelerate at negative 9.8 meters per second every single second that the object is falling, where the negative 9.8 meters per second represents the change in the object's velocity, and the one second represents the time it takes to change this object's velocity, which should remind you of the definition of acceleration, which is the change in velocity per change in time, or how fast the velocity of the object changes. Now the negative sign in front of this value represents the direction in which the object's going to accelerate. In this case, this represents that the object will accelerate in the downward direction. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose you have some object, in this case a ball, and you take that ball and you throw it straight up into the air. You're going to give it some initial velocity in the upward direction by throwing it. And then what happens is, the moment that that ball leaves your hand, the force of gravity is going to start accelerating that object. That is, the force of gravity is going to start to slow that object down. When you think about it, when you throw any object straight up into the air, that object does not continue to move in the upward direction forever. Eventually, the force of gravity slows the object down. And one of the things that you should see is that when the velocity vector and the acceleration vector point in opposite direction, the object's going to slow down. And one of the reasons that objects thrown in the upward direction slow down is because the force of gravity is acting on them, causing them to change their velocity or accelerate. Now let's take a look at a second example. Let's suppose you have the same object, but instead of throwing it in the upward direction, you throw it in the downward direction with some velocity. In this case, the force of gravity is still going to accelerate this object in the downward direction, but instead of slowing this object down, the force of gravity is going to speed this object up. And another way to see that is, whenever the velocity and acceleration vectors point in the same direction, it means the velocity is going to increase. Now notice in both cases the acceleration vector both points in the downward direction. The force of gravity does not change depending on which direction the object is initially moving. The force of gravity is always going to be pulling objects in the downward direction regardless of the direction that the object is initially traveling. So the negative sign when we talk about negative 9.8 meters per second squared indicates that the acceleration is in the downward direction towards the Earth. And when an object is moving in the upward direction, the force of gravity slows the object down by 9.8 meters per second. And when the object is traveling in the downward direction, gravity is going to speed that object up by 9.8 meters per second. So let's do an example. To develop a conceptual understanding of how the force of gravity influences the motion of an object thrown into the air, let's approximate the acceleration due to gravity. Instead of negative 9.8 meters per second squared, let's say that it's negative 10 meters per second squared, or that is, gravity changes the velocity of an object by 10 meters per second every single second. So in this case, let's take some object, in this case a ball, and we're going to throw that ball straight up into the air. We're going to give it an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. And this ball is going to be thrown in the upward direction. The moment that this ball leaves your hand, the force of gravity is going to accelerate this ball in the downward direction at negative 10 meters per second squared. And what that means is, after one second of moving in the upward direction, acting only under the influence of gravity, the force of gravity changes the velocity of this object in one second to 20 meters per second. So after one second, the velocity goes from 30 meters per second to 20 meters per second. Or if you want to look at the change in the velocity, in this case, it's going to be 20 meters per second, which is the final velocity after one second, minus 30 meters per second, which equals negative 10 meters per second. So in one second, so in one second, the velocity has changed by 10 meters per second each second that this object is in the air. Now the force of gravity is still accelerating this ball in the downward direction at negative 10 meters per second squared. And basically what's happening is this object's going to slow down by 10 meters per second every second that this object is moving in the upward direction. So after one more second, this object's still moving in the upward direction, but the velocity now goes from 20 meters per second to 10 meters per second because the force of gravity is changing this object's velocity by 10 meters per second every single second. And again, we can see that by looking in the difference in the velocity between this point and this point. So it will be 10 meters per second 
minus 20 meters per second, which was the velocity after one second. And again, this will equal negative 10 meters per second. So every single second that this ball is moving in the upward direction, the velocity changes by 10 meters per second. And again, the acceleration due to gravity is still going to be negative 10 meters per second squared. Now after one more second, the velocity of the object continues to change, but it reaches a final velocity of zero meters per second. The force of gravity has stopped this object. And again, the acceleration due to gravity is still in the downward direction at negative 10 meters per second squared. One of the common mistakes students make is to assume that the acceleration due to gravity when this ball reaches a velocity of zero meters per second is zero. But in fact, the force of gravity continuously causes this object to accelerate. So what's going to happen now is the force of gravity is going to change the direction of this object. So now this ball, which is initially at rest, begins to accelerate in the downward direction. And so after one more second, or a total time in the air of four seconds, the velocity goes from zero meters per second to negative 10 meters per second. And the negative sign is indicating the direction in which this object is moving, in this case, in the downward direction. So notice the velocity has changed, or the change in the velocity is negative 10 meters per second, minus zero meters per second, which is negative 10 meters per second. So the change in velocity between this point here and this point here is negative 10 meters per second. Also notice the negative sign in front of this velocity term and the negative sign in front of this acceleration term. And also notice the direction that the vectors are pointed. The velocity vector is in the downward direction and the acceleration vector is in the downward direction. So this object's going to start to speed up or accelerate in the downward direction. Now after one more second, the velocity is going to continue to increase. So a total time of five seconds has elapsed. And now the velocity is going to go from negative 10 meters per second to negative 20 meters per second. The velocity of the object has changed by 10 meters per second every single second that this object is now falling. And not only is the velocity changing, in this case, again, the velocity increasing. And after one more second, the velocity continues to increase. And in this case, after six seconds, the velocity goes from negative 20 to negative 30 meters per second, again, increasing by 10 meters per second.